Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 2 of Road to Glory. In this episode, I decided I'd start off by just showing you my team and showing you, you know, all the changes I've made to my team because there have been a lot of changes since the first episode. I, I've packed a lot of players, a lot of them have been untradeable, so I've kind of had to work around what I've packed and try and deal with it. And so there are some changes I would like to make, but it's a bit hard because money and I don't feel like it's a good idea to waste players that I packed that are good, but not the right player, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, so we'll start off by showing you the team. Let me just hop down to squad. All right, so there it is. As you can see, a lot has changed since the first episode. Quite a lot, as a matter of fact. If you guys saw my other video that I did, where, that I posted on Friday, I did a pack opening. And in that pack opening, I packed some incredible stuff. So first I got this one swatch Odegaard, which I'm not gonna lie, at the moment, is, the card's not that great. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, I feel like all he has is five star skills and that's about it. I mean, he's got two star weak foot, which is pretty poor. So I guess at the moment we're kind of hoping that it develops into a very good card because obviously it is a ones to watch. But we did pack him and he is untradeable so I do have to use him on my club. Um, so that's why he's playing at Cam. Then we also packed this 88 Tony Cruz. Once again, not the greatest player. He's all right. Um, but because he's also untradeable, I feel like I just have to use him because I don't have anyone else good enough to replace him with. I don't really have the money. So he kind of has that La Liga link. Then I packed Varane in the same pack as Odegaard. That was pretty insane scenes. You can check out that video. That was mental. Um, so I'm using Varane. He is very solid. I love him. He's pretty good. I mean, he is also very expensive. But once again, I'm tradable. So I have to use him as well. So that's why I kind of had to make like a La Liga side here. So I, I also bought Carvajal and Porto, who is very good. I really like him. And then for some reason, I decided to buy Rodrigo. Now, if you, if you notice, Odegaard and Rodrigo not be on full chem, which is, you know, probably not the greatest of things. But I just, I just had to do it, and I really like him as well. He is very solid stuff. Then on the left side, I packed an untradeable Sane, so that's why he is here. I was so gassed about packing him, because I really wanted him in the club. I had Coman there before, and he was good, but not good enough, right? So then I packed Sane, and I was like, yes, get in. So we've been using him. He is, he's good. I mean, his record's not great, but I like him. And we also got Goretzka, who we bought because we thought, I thought he would be a good player. He makes the link kind of work, and he can play defensively and attacking. So that's quite good. That's why I like him. And then we got standard Roussignol, however you say his name. He's my left back because he's pacey. Got the Halstenberg that I think I packed in the last video, or did I don't know, but I packed him as well. I think he's also untradeable, yep. And then I bought Stegen to make the perfect links, obviously German and La Liga. So that is my starting 11. Uh, on the bench, I just got a bunch of other stuff. Um, a lot of them are also untradeable. We also did the Rodriguez SBC because, you know, wants to watch card, very easy to do. He could come in handy in the future. I don't know how, maybe I'll build a Premier League team at some point with this Rodrigo. Um, so yeah, that is the current team. This is my starting 11. It so far is very good. I would like to replace either this Tony Cruz or this Odegaard card for maybe a bit more of a defensive player. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. They would be much, much appreciated. But I will now show you my custom task. Can't speak. I'll now show you my custom tactics of what I do in the game. Um, so this is just a regular 4-3-3 that I have. Um, as you can see, a very standard, balanced, balanced, uh, various stuff. Instructions, not, I don't change too much. I've told a lot of them just to cover centre. Uh, and then the fullbacks to stay back whilst attacking. Now, my favourite formation to change to in-game is the 4 one 2 one 2 2 Just because I love having two strikers and then just a very central kind of team. It seems to work out very well a lot of the time. So this is also just very standard, balanced, balanced uh, stuff. Defensive, you drop back quite a bit, very narrow. The attack, we kind of take the width quite a lot, even though we are a very narrow team. And then if you see the formation here, I play Rodrigo and Porto as two strikers because they're both very pacey, decent shooting, and they just work well together. It just seems to have done wonders for me so far. And then I have Sane as Cam. This is a very recent change. I haven't really played him there that much, but he seems to be doing a pretty decent job, so I like that. Odegaard and Cruz is the two CMs because I, d I didn't really know where else to put them, and they, they do the job. And then Goretzka as a CDM, that is also a recent switch, 
just because out of Odegaard, Cruz, and Gretzka, he's the most defensive player. And he actually does a decent job, so there's that. In terms of instructions, I have the fullbacks on balanced attack. So they do actually push up on the wings. And they're basically the only wing players I have in this formation. It works well sometimes. Sometimes, you know, you do get caught in the defence, lacking in defenders, which is why I do have the Gretzka to stay back whilst attack. Oh, I don't. He should be on stay back whilst attacking. I don't know how, how I feel about that change because he is also a very good attacking player. So I don't know about that. Uh, these two are just on stay central. Everyone else is on, I think, cover center. So I have a very central formation, central game plan, whatever. I do also have a defensive tactic. I'm not going to go over that because I've just changed it and I don't really know whether I want to keep it. And then I think for the rest of the episode, I'm just going to hop into some games and kind of see how the team does. We It is currently foot champs. Uh, foot cha yeah, weekend league, foot champs. I did manage to qualify. So far, it's not gone that well. I'm not going to lie. I won a game and then I lost two. So uh, let's hop into a game, see if we can win, see if we can do well. Hopefully we can. It would be a nice, nice continuation of the weekend league. All right. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, this is not the first piece of gameplay I've had for this video. I've actually done a few recordings, and they've all gone pretty badly, so hopefully this one goes well. If not, you might have to just watch a video of me raging at some other player. Oh. I can't believe I fucking missed that. I thought finally I was going to score a goal in the weekend league, and I missed. So that's that's pretty tragic. Somebody you've got to watch closely, Lucas Moura. Lee, what do you think we might see from him? There we go. Let's go. This guy is really attacking. Like as soon as you push past his midfield, his defence is so open. Oh, nice. Oh my God! How have I missed that? I cannot shoot to save the pig. Like. What, how have I just missed two massive shots? For two, and back with Cross, and ready for it is Leroy Zane. Excellent block. Yes, I know the first shot wasn't quite it, and it's a bit of a scammy goal, but it like the effort was there, so I'm happy I got the goal. And finally, it looks like we might actually get a weekend league win. Oh my God. Oh no, oh no. He's opened them up here. Could pull one back here. Will he? Oh my god. Pretty surprised that didn't go in actually. Who's he bringing on? He's M Mbappe? It Just watch how it's like a lone card. Still though, Mbappe, that's scary stuff. Could be a chance to break here. Lovely He's stuff. You've got to say it was a wonderful break, but shame about the How do I keep missing these shots? I mean I probably could have like I probably could have chipped the keeper there. But how do I keep missing these shots? How come he gets to score them and I don't? Oh, I'm pissed now. Bro, I've had so many chances and it's only 2-1. That's poor. That's... Ah! If I don't end up winning this game, I'll be so disappointed. I can't believe he's just used Lone Mbappe to score a goal against me. I swear to God, if I end up losing, I will cry. Chance to cross. What can he do from here? He's got the right idea, but that yes, okay. There we go. Another goal. That's good stuff. Now we've got to defend and make sure we don't concede again. This is not that hard. <laughs> we've won ourselves a penalty. I've not had a very good record of penalties recently. I'm not going to lie. Where do we go? Fuck's sakes. Be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. He's in here. Can he convert? Oh my god, I hate this game. How the fuck has he done that? 
I did so well, and then it... Oh. An that is ridiculous. Inside the final five oh, now. fuck off. Oh, great vision. How about this for drama? All even once more. Astonishing. I can't believe this game. Bro, I hate this game. I hate this game. How have I gone to extra time again? I'm getting like flashbacks from the last game where I went to extra time as well and then ended up losing. So, yeah. I've missed the penalty in this game. This game's been horrible. I missed the penalty. His player cleared it off the line after I'd done his keeper. Going well. Sunny. Can he put them ahead? Yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. Yes! Thank God for that. Well, how about this? He's late in this game. Sizoko. Mbappe! Oh, this Mbappe card is a pain in the arse. So a corner and an opportunity for Vipers to bounce right back. Sané in the middle. Pressure on to clear his lines. Right, I think we're good. Hey! So the final whistle, Finally! Oh my god. Oh they my god. Win. Right, look, there we go. 4-3, the final score. We get the dub. Well done. And finally, we're, we're in bronze two instead of bronze three. I'd need to, I, I definitely need to admit, win some more games. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the second episode of Road to Glory. I hope you guys like what I've done with the team so far. If you have any suggestions, drop it in the comments below. Uh, and I will be streaming, you know, some more of um, FIFA 21 over on my Twitch. So you can go check me out there. Twitch.tv forward slash TFB3. It would be much appreciated if you came through and just showed your support. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.